What's going on guys? Joe with OMGRC here. So today, these two Traxxas vehicles are in need of some attention, especially as far as on the Rustler 4x4 that is here. I took this out to Lake Park anyway. It was, a, it was a, a track, a clay track, what have you, and one of the shock caps came off, spilling all the uh, oil. So, super bouncy in the front, and you can tell like as far as in the rear, not so much, but in the front, definitely. Also, this one here, since if you saw my video yesterday, uh, this one, it really does pull quite a bit to one left or right. So I wanna go ahead and put some uh, grease in the front differential and then also in the rear differential. So I'm gonna time lapse some of this here. Also, I'm gonna work on this one first just because I wanna make sure that I get all the air out of the shock before I seal it back up. And then that way, at least that one's off to the side while I start working on this one. This one's gonna take more time. So like I said, I'll time lapse it, but uh, definitely gotta get these things up and running again so I can get some more videos. I wanna see how fast this thing goes. I know it does 50 plus miles an hour as far as how fast a 50 miles an hour. I'll stick the GoPro on there once I feel that it's a little bit more stable. Cause right now when I ran it, it was like over like 41 miles an hour, somewhere right around in there. And actually I did a video on it and it was going just about 50 miles an hour, but because it gets a little top heavy on me. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead, let's get this thing going, get these things uh, back up and running. All right, so this thing's got quite a bit of dirt on it and you know, nasty little grime to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean it up as well since I Got a kind of part hair. So anyway, yeah, I'm gonna clean it up. It's just from the clay. So yep, give that a scrub, bring it back, get it all dried up, oil it, and then we'll go ahead and continue on to the rally car. All right, it's gonna spray a little simple green on this thing. Let it soak on there for a little bit, then wash it off and then get it all oiled up. All right, so all cleaned up. I'm gonna go ahead and start working on the rally car right now. All right, so it's pretty good. Uh, I do need to replace the shock cap. It is a plastic one, so and it's not on there very good. So I'm gonna have to fix that. But yeah, it's better right now. But any tough, hard landings or whatever like that's gonna pop that cap right back off again. But I might just go ahead and upgrade the shocks altogether. But we'll see down the road. But for now, she's good. It's all cleaned up. Tires in the right directions and everything like that. So cool. Let's get to that rally car. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and tear apart this front differential first. Let's get started. I'm gonna go ahead and put marine grease in here. That's what I typically go with, just to kind of thicken it up a little bit. We'll see how that works once I get it back on the road. It won't be in this video, but it'll be in one soon to come. All right, so I had to dip out. I cleaned it up a little bit anyhow. I'm gonna regrease it, but I figured I'd just clean up the bearings. So those things are in good shape anyhow. I haven't really ran this thing in through much water at all. Just a little bit here and there. Inside looks pretty clean. But uh, yeah, I'll have to clean the outside of it and everything like that. But anyway, it's just the inside. I'm gonna go ahead and I'll put a little bit of grease in there. But all I gotta tear this thing apart. I gotta get this thing off here so I can put the grease inside that little differential. All right, so here's the grease I'll be using. I'll just use this. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna use that. And you can tell, not much grease in there anyhow. So I'm gonna go ahead and pack that with the marine grease, and then go ahead and start doing the rear.
All right, so looking at the rear one here, it definitely has more grease in it than the front one did. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead, get this grease out of here, put the other grease in there. Hopefully it'll make it a little bit thicker. There's other grease that you can use. It's gonna be thicker. This might make a little bit of a difference because uh, this grease is fairly thick anyhow. And then also on the front, just kind of FYI, took off more screws than necessary, but it was time-lapse, so you guys won't notice it as much. But there's less screws that you gotta take off just to get to the actual uh, diff cover. But anyway, yeah, I took what? three uh one two, like five screws something like that for the rear so very easy to get to the, the rear uh the front was just a little bit more just because taking the bumper off but uh not much after that really all right so after putting this grease in there marine grease in there yeah this thing is definitely harder to turn I have to use this, actually the little tool, just to turn this thing because it's definitely pretty difficult now. So that's good. That's what I want. I want it to be thicker to turn. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get this back installed. All right guys, so pretty much done with this thing for right now as far as the upgrades and stuff like that. You guys may have asked me before uh, in my other videos and like, hey, what's going on? I try to leave, link all that stuff down at the bottom or in the description when it comes to the previous video where it shows like, oh, okay, I did the upgrade. I'll even probably link it in this one where I do the upgrade to this vehicle, doing the aluminum drive shaft because I had a plastic one that was in there. I actually put a slipper clutch in it and also 32 pitch gears in there, like an 18 tooth and a 50, uh, that's 18 tooth pinion gear, and then a 50 spur gear that's in there, a 32 pitch. So good on that part of it. And as far as that would, and then of course the obvious, the hobby wing, I, I went from a brushed motor to a brushless system. And I feel this is a good combination. This is the easy run 3200 KV motor, and this is a, anyway, easy run, what is this, a Max 10 short course truck or SCT for short. So uh, yeah, I like the system. Hobby Wing seems to provide nice power to it. Um, and I think I'm gonna leave this system in here because it just matches perfect when it comes to what I like. Now I might put some other tires on here eventually just so it can go a little bit quicker as far as maybe GRPs or something like that. But I don't know. As of right now, these tires work pretty good for being on asphalt, but it's sandy here. But uh, anyway, enough running my mouth on that one, but you guys can check out the other videos. Like I said, I'll put a link in the description anyhow, or at the very end, I'll tag some other videos like I try to do at the end of the videos anyhow. Anyway, I appreciate you guys watching as always, and I hope you found this informative and at least a little entertaining at the same time. But anyway, uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and check out our website, omgrc.com for all your hobby goodness. Until next time, this is Joe with OMGRC. You guys take care and thank you for watching.